where else should a star quarter bottle be filled up if not in Iceland? everyone this is the second part of the south of iceland tour so if you haven't watched the first part i will put the link up here so you can click on it and go back and watch it in this episode we will go see two waterfalls i must say they're special waterfalls because my favorite series has been filmed here if you've been following me for a while you will know which series i'm talking about and you probably can't stand me anymore the first waterfall was beautiful and the guide said that a famous scene from Game of Thrones was filmed here but the production didn't find the waterfall stunning enough so they added a second waterfall on top of the waterfall we're going to see. It is the only waterfall in Iceland that gets this water source from two different glaciers. completely ruined horses for me. <laughs> oh. We could stay a thousand years. No one would find us. We'd be pretty old. The guide said that as we only had 45 minutes, she recommended not going on top because you will find so many steps to reach the top. And she said it's not worth it because you will waste most of your time and anyway, the view is better from the bottom. But obviously, I always have to do the opposite of what people tell me. And so I went and I think the view from the top is beautiful as well. So if you can, definitely go go up the stairs. It's a workout, but it's worth it. Also, I had to mute the videos because you could have heard me breathing as if I was about to die.
quoting our fantastic guide once again, she told us that Floki of the series Vikings, I don't know if you're fans, I only watched two episodes three years ago, but I would like to go on. This waterfall is the first one that Floki sees when he first travels to Iceland. And a few weeks earlier, they had a tourist who was so obsessed with Vikings that he actually collected water from the river and baptized his grandchild with the water from this waterfall. Some interesting facts which I hope you didn't already know about Iceland. The biggest tourist trap in Iceland is bottled water. As a matter of fact, bottled water is exactly the same which comes out of the tap. So it's needless to say that you shouldn't buy it to avoid single-use plastic and also to save a lot of money. In this clip we were approaching a device which is used for the weather forecast. Iceland relied on Denmark to do the weather forecast for it until I will write the year here because I can't remember. With regards to snow, maybe you would think that in Iceland it snows a lot, but Icelanders never know if they're going to get snow and how much snow they're going to get. So it's not a prime destination for skiing. There's about one or two ski resorts in the Blue Mountains. And an Icelandic saying says, if you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. It's either gonna get worse or better. Only gets its water from one glacier and that is Eyjafjalla Jökull the light here above us. But if you tend on going behind the waterfall, just know that you're the left hand side has not been fixed up and it is really a climb for your life to be honest i just watched the documentary on water and people are actually paying 20 to 30 dollars a bottle for glacial water and this is glacial water and you can get it for free many icelanders refer as the south coast of iceland as the hollywood coast as a matter of fact star wars interstellar two james bond movies have been filmed in the south of Iceland. Two very famous fictional characters find their origins in Iceland. Snow White was based on an Icelandic woman. As a matter of fact, the artist who drew Snow White was in love with an Icelandic woman. I don't know if this is history or legend. And then James Bond as well was inspired by a man of Icelandic origins called William Stephenson. wasn't crying is the waterfall <laughs> do not wear mascara if you come to Iceland the guy told us to fill up the water bottle in this river so now I will do that in the meantime look Get that over you. this was the last stop so now we're driving back to Reykjavik and it's going to take two hours. I'm super tired because I had two full day tours in a row. Obviously useless to say that they were more than worth it as I'm only staying in Iceland three nights so I had to do as much as possible. Uh.